Okay, we're back. Jeez. So cool. I tried to start that. All right, we're good to go. Let me real quick tab into this. You guys should hopefully be seeing some Warcraft in a second or two. There it is. And then... I also need to turn on the U and target you at this. Perfect. And yeah, today we are going to be diving into Uldum. We finished up uh, Deep Home yesterday, day before yesterday, day before yesterday, and uh, did the little quest with Anduin. Barbarian had us take Anduin out for a walk, which was which was interesting. I've never seen that quest chain before. Where we went out and like tracked down some Twilight Hammer cultists around the city, and we like helped some farmers their cows, which also ended up being Twilight cultists. Well, the cows weren't, but the, the, the reason their cows were missing was. It says there's a mailbox. Like, right here on my map. I don't see a mailbox. I could use a mailbox. It's telling me I have mail. Where's my mail? There's a mailbox. This'll do. What do we got? Red steel shoulders expired. Other things sold. How much did that sell for? 40. Let me sell the other shoulders here real quick. Um, I think I also need to... Yeah, perfect. We can sell these for... Probably 90, to be honest. Yeah, we can get it with 90. Beautiful. That's what you like to see. Uh, and then I gotta sell all the rest of this junk I've got in my inventory. I have so much crap in my inventory. Um, I've got the axe, which we were able to upgrade. We got a bunch of new gear out of that. Oh, I didn't notice. I've got like a new helmet with like little devil horns on it. That's cool. All right. Someone around here. Great to meet you. You'll buy some of my stuff, right? Perfect. Okay. Just need to get rid of anything soulbound that I don't plan on using. Just so that it's not taking up space in my inventory being useless. Uh, I can take a look at selling these probably like 30 or 40 a pop. I can ditch that. The gems I can look at selling. Ditch that. Keep the Elementium Ore, ditch that, keep the Folded Obsidium. Perfect. Uh, anything else I can sell? I can probably sell the Basilisk Liver. Uh, we'll keep the Volatile Elements, I might need that. Evidence against Samuelson, I think that's the from that Anduin quest. Uh, and a bunch of... Good. Okay, scrolls and stuff from Archaeology. That'll be fine. This gives me enough. This gives me enough inventory to work with. Um, anything else I want to do before we head out? Oh, I should here real quick. We'll uh, these other random bits up for auction. Ravencrest Shield of the Whale. If I just like clear this out, does anyone search? No. If I delete the quotation marks, how about now? No. All right, we're just going to sell this for... What is it vendor for? 10 gold? We'll sell it for 40. This is probably a good deal. Uh, hardened Obsidian Boots. I can probably actually get away with more than that. Hardened Obsidian Boots. They're going for 150. Yeah, we can get away with probably significantly more than what I was selling them for. We'll sell this for... Screw it. We'll sell it for 140. Just to make sure it moves. Everything must go. Red steel leg guards. This will go for 40. That's fine. And then, what have I got? Jasper? How much can I sell Jasper for? Jasper, if we sort by lowest. Scroll down a little bit. There's some Jasper. It's selling for about 39 a pop. 
so hold up I want to have this split into stacks of one sell this for 39 sell another one for the same price what's the Zephyrite going for Zephyrite what have we got here also yeah turn that on so I can see my chat also hopefully everybody's doing well today I was also yeah I was gonna start this a little bit earlier but then Elden Ring started updating and I was just pausing for a second to see if it happened to be early adding the DLC content but no it's just the pre-patch to the main game and it looks like the servers are offline and for just another couple hours not quite until the DLC goes live but they're doing some maintenance. I actually was playing earlier, and I saw for the first... What is this? What is this called? Amber Jewel? For the first time, I saw an in-game message in Elden... Did I say Amber Jewel? Yeah, okay. I saw an in-game message pop up telling me there was about to be server maintenance, which I've never seen before. I was going for 149. Holy shit. I'm going to regret this, but I need this later, aren't I? Uh, what is this? Ocean Sapphire. Ocean Sapphire. Okay, it's going for a hundred. There's three of them. No, there's a bunch of them actually going for around a hundred. Ninety-nine. And then a bunch more of them going for... hundred and ninety-four. I think I'm going to aim for 190. We'll see. We'll aim for 190 and see if I can move this. There's a bunch of them at 90, but I think that there's like, five, like 10. I think that's somebody super lowball in the market. So we're just going to go ahead and go for 190. That's a little closer to what the uh, standard price is going for. Also, what the hell is this? Last Relic of Argus. Oh, right, that's my, uh, my archaeology thing that just teleports me to a random location. It's on a 12-hour cooldown, and uh, it just teleports you to a random spot somewhere in the world. You have no control over where it puts you. I think it's fantastic. I love it. All right, Uldum, we need to get to Kalimdor, and then we need to get to Southern Kalimdor, and then we need to take uh, the caravan from Tanaris to get into Uldum. Fastest way to get there would probably actually be Booty Bay. I could probably fly down to Booty Bay, catch the boat, and then head down that way. That sounds boring. We're just going to take Hyjal. <laughs> We'll take the Hyjal portal, and then we just head south. It's going to take a minute. Like, it's going to be a slow flight, but it'll get us there. We're going to be flying over basically the entirety of Kalimdor. Oh, what was that? There was a mineable thing there. Hold up. Go back and mine the thing. Always mine the rock. All right, we're good. How are we doing here? Uh, yeah, head south. I'm heading more or less the right direction here. This should eventually get me there. Oh yeah, we're right by Sulphur and Spire, so I guess I'll take a look and see if that one turtle happens to be up. No reason. Don't really need it, but... Check it out. And yeah, this is Uldum. So we are heading off towards Uldum today. Uh, the setup we have plot-wise is that we discovered a Titan facility in Deepholm that was being used by the Twilight's Hammer. And they have discovered that one of the pyramids in Uldum, which is like a big Titan Egyptian-themed facility, and they've discovered that, yeah, one of the pyramids out there is apparently some kind of Titan weapon that can just wipe out all life on the planet. Uh, and they are attempting to hijack it to, to kill everyone. <laughs> so we're we're trying to get there before them to stop them, is the, the general setup for what's going on here. Uh, I don't think anyone from any of our, like, associated factions, like Alliance Horde or any of the associated races, has any real knowledge of what's going on in Old Doom or has been there. Uh, Oldham's pretty secluded and, like, sealed off on the far southern tip of Kalimdor here. And Kalimdor is the far less explored of the two continents. 
Like, the Horde only settled here in, like, Warcraft 3, which was, like, what, 20 years ago or something at this point? Not terribly long ago, so... There's a good bit of this that has not been fully explored at the time. And yeah, Old Doom's going to be one of the one of the biggest ones. We'll just keep flying through this way. What's this? Demon Fall Canyon? Oh, is this, uh... Is this the thing I was going to try to show off when I was leveling my character through here, but then the quest wouldn't... Yeah, trigger. Yeah, here it is. These two floating... or floating broken in half glaive right here uh, is from Warcraft 3. This is the glaive of Manoroth, which gets uh, cut in half by uh, Grom. When he, when he, when him and Thrall are fighting Manoroth in the one cutscene, and Grom dives in to save Thrall and kills Manoroth, that's uh, right there, and that's the the glaive hanging out. I was trying to find the quest that would like lead you up into that area when I was leveling through Ashenvale, but the uh, that was the one where the drop was broken. We had to like kill a bunch of demons, and so you got like a demonic invasion plans or something from them, and the drop just wasn't working. I wonder if they fixed that. I'm not going to go back and find out right now, but I'm curious. It was a bummer that, that wasn't working, because it is a cool little quest, but... Also, how's my... One second, I'm going to look at my talents. How's my talents looking? The talents are looking okay. I think my final talent, I'm going to put another rank into Epidemic. Yeah, that'll be good. Got on a Pale Horse, which I want for the movement speed. I think I've got my flight speed maxed out. I think I've got the fastest possible flight speed. Um, where does flight skill live these days? Master Riding. Yeah, highest possible speed in my flying mount. So we are good to go on that. Like, I should be flying basically as fast as it is possible to fly. Which, now that we have, like, dragon riding in retail, looks comically slow. How's my Elden Ring getting along? Oh, it's done. It's finally finished patching. Beautiful. The DLC should go live. It's saying in like seven hours for me, but I have a feeling that's going to be closer to eight hours. I think it's going to be going live right around noon is going to be my guess. I'm going to be solidly asleep and then I work today. I will not be checking that out um, until I get home. And uh, just as a reminder, plan is I'm not going to be streaming the Elden Ring DLC. Uh, I want to enjoy that in my own free time and just get a chance to sink my teeth into it on my first playthrough and just kind of enjoy it on my own. So I will be stream or playing that in my free time, like off stream. Uh, and then once I've finished it once, we'll take a look at trying to slot in a full playthrough of Elden Ring with the DLC. I want to wait till I've finished it at least once and like people have had a chance to like mess around with it themselves and dive in a little bit. I actually think Elden Ring is one of those games I, I would very much recommend playing on your own with as few spoilers as possible uh, your first time. It's it's really, really fun just exploring and finding new things in it. Um, so I don't want to ruin anything by, by streaming it myself. Level 80. An Onyxia quest. That must be the quest for the uh, the raid from the End of Wrath. Wild. Where are we here? This is Tenaris? This is Thousand Needles. Okay. My god. There's that dead whale shark. The old uh, Mirage Raceway turned into the sail barge here. That thing's so cool looking.
Do they have the, uh... No, there's nothing going on as far as, like, the... Thousand Needles Fishing Derby. Boat Derby? I don't know what the hell that thing is called. No, it doesn't look like that's going on at all. That's fine. Okay, welcome to Tenaris. Our head off to Oldoom. Should be down this way. So back in ye olden days, um, pre-Cataclysm, in the original version of this map, uh, this gate here that says Valley of the Watchers uh, used to be labeled Uldum. It used to be labeled as the Gates to Uldum. Uh, they changed that, apparently, when they decided to actually add Uldum to the game. It's no longer the Gates to Uldum. Oh, look at that. Think this does anything? <laughs> okay, fair. That's kind of cool. Um. All right. Meet up with the caravan. We're gonna take a look at the old gates real quick, and then we'll go meet up with this caravan, which uh, we were sent here by Harrison Jones, the archaeologist. Uh, continue the research, head to Southern Kalimdor, the caravan about to leave for Old Doom. Okay, don't have much more info other than that. Basically what our Heroes Call quest gave us as well. So yeah, this bit here used to be... A, a it was sealed off. These gates were closed and there was a, a bigger wall uh, in front of this. You can kind of see this wooden gate here. This used to be just solidly sealed. There was kind of this, like, visible crack in it, but you couldn't actually get in there. And then, uh, I'm actually curious. I tried running in here, um, in the Cata pre-patch, and it just teleports you out. Because you weren't technically supposed to have access to this yet. But now that we've... Oh, what is this? Diluvian chest. What is this? What have we found here? Oh, God. Okay, some kind of large titan machinery. Oh, God. And just a small chamber with this chest in it. What level quest is this? Grand Tablet. At the bottom of the chest, you find a large tablet made of a material resembling stone, but completely smooth and flawless, covered in strange writing. Some resembles the writing on the walls, other scripts appear completely different. Gunstan would probably like to see this. Well, this is like super low-level reward, so I'm guessing this is a quest from Tenaris. Um, okay, I'm going to assume at some point one of the quests in Tenaris is supposed to send you in here. And Gunstan is probably a researcher looking into relics of Old Doom. Also, yeah. That's these, like, sandstone earthen. Oh, this is weird. Curious. We're going to go turn this in and see what this is about. And then we'll uh, head on towards Old Doom. With proper with the caravan after that. I like this cape I've got. This is actually really cool. Also got kind of a, a deserty vibe going to it with that tan cloak. Okay. Head over here. Gunston, what you got? What have I found? This amazing hieroglyphs are undoubtedly Titan, but the markings below it. If I had to hope, same passage written over and over again in an entire assortment of different languages. I might be able to use this to decipher the hieroglyphs. If the antechamber was covered in them, who knows what else we might learn. Uh, I'll take this. Why not? Watch your back. And these are all just the same, same quests he had previously. So yeah, they're just exploring ancient... Oh, this is a new flight path. I forgot they added, like, a bunch of new flight paths, and I haven't added them all yet. I'm going to have to eventually go around to fly around Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor, picking up, uh, all the new flight paths. Because this guy doesn't have them. That's fine. 
should be running into my caravan somewhere around here because yeah this was an added this gate did not used to exist at all this was just a plain mountain thing with a with no giant passageway into it it's uh this right here is the entrance down into Angoro. and yeah they added this little bit what do we got here samir mac pack mules lady humps <laughs> oh that's hilarious hey it's bud hey there we met bud in uh Vajir. he was uh hanging out with us on our boat and then he was treasure hunting with us we got uh tanzar oh i can't actually jump onto this i see who's this up here we got a couple we got a couple orcs up here kurzel and turgor where are you adara I feel like I know you from somewhere. Hey Harrison sense you how you fortunate. Know. Whoever brought you, I'm so glad you're here. My friends will never admit it. We could really use a hand. Ancient region of Uldum has been exposed. Treasures beyond your wildest dreams. Free for the taking. Need a bit of an escort. What with the bandits and all. You'll accompany us, won't you? You're welcome to all the loot you can haul Have off. Okay. Am I just like hopping on? No silly Draenei. No one rides the lady. Am I just like hopping on the back of this cart? A nice little bit of animation here. You don't get that much of that in this game. Yeah, hi, bud. How's it going? Is something supposed to be happening? A game? I feel like something broke. <laughs> no, I don't want to cancel the cinematic. I want the cinematic to play. Okay, hold up. If I cancel this, um, and then hold up, I don't want to target something first. I want to drop this quest. Abandon? Oh, I can't drop this because okay, I did drop it. Okay, cool. I'm going to go pick that back up again. Hold up. Close your eyes. Don't look at any of this. It's all spoilers. I feel like something broke there, and we're going to see if we can go fix that. Avert, avert your gaze. Because, yeah, something feels like it definitely broke there. I'm going to see if I can just go, like, redo that quest to see if it'll fix it. Because I, I would prefer to have, have the cutscene actually play properly. We're going to aim, aim view up. <laughs> Don't, don't look at the mini-map. It's all spoilers. Everything out here is spoilers. I was like, what little I know of this zone, there is actually... There are, there are aerial spoilers, too, so that'll be fun. But I should be able to blind navigate myself back to my quest. My quest is this way. Okay, we're good. Uh, I should be coming up on Teneris, so I can probably look back down now. Perfect. Okay, try that again. Let's see if we can get this to actually play the cutscene correctly this time. Uh, 
Okay, take two. <laughs> um, let me just, just in case, let me just turn off all my, turn off all my UI crap for a second, just to see if that helps. Good day to you. Oh my God, this is hideous. Okay. See you later. I think we're good. Caravan escorted. Okay. Try this again. Hopefully this time the cutscene doesn't break. No one rides the lady. Get this cursor out of there and we'll see if the cutscene feels like working this time or if it breaks again. I really hope it doesn't break again. If it doesn't work this time, we'll just we'll just skip it and carry on, but There we go. This time it's working. I don't know if it was my add-ons, maybe that's entirely possible. We haven't made it very far. This is just inside that uh, pass there. Ooh. The hell are you? How many coconuts can we get for the ugly one? Okay. Three, he would have paid five EC. <laughs> Okay, so we appear to have been captured and sold for coconuts. Got it. Also, Jesus, we need to get rid of this. Okay, hold up. This needs to go. Get my get my add-ons back on now that, we've, now that we've made sure the cutscene works. There we go. Okay, Adara, what's Hello. going on? Sounds like someone else was in this cell recently. Oh, oh, she has apparently stealthed her way out of here. I'm not supposed to be seeing that yet, I'm guessing, but... Last lockpick. Here comes the guard. Take him out. Where? Where is he? Take out the guard, you say? Oh, is it this guy? I don't, I don't see a guard. We're just going to go talk to this guy. Prince the Dune of Ram Ramkehen. Neferset tribe is turned against the other Tolvir. Help me escape so I may lobby my brother, the king, to wage war against these traitors. Just help me, I came here to investigate the arrival of a powerful ally to the Neferset, only to be betrayed by my closest allies and given up to the enemy. Go to the terrace above us to the east and find the information I failed to uncover. You'll need to hide from the Neferset. Perhaps you can hide behind one of the large plants on the platform to conceal your presence. Do this for me and I'll help your friends find their way to safety. They tear us to the east, hide behind plant, and see if we can figure out whose ally is that's arrived and what's what's going on here. Okay. Terrace to the east. Is he talking that? <laughs> I 
feel like I'm I'm wildly out of context here. Okay, can I like no this doesn't look like it goes up. I mean I could fly, but that feels like it kinda defeats the purpose, right? Should I should I just fly? I guess we'll just take a Yeah, I don't really see another way up here to be honest. So hide behind this plant. Okay. It's too far away. What's going on here? The last of your tribe with any sense left as a reward for giving us Prince of the Dune. I grant you the gift that is your birthright and more. Oh. Your makers failed you. Your flawed race to come to the curse of flesh. Lord Deathwing's gift makes you perfect again. Is he turning them back into, like, stone or earthen or whatever? Huh. Alright, well, down we go. What are you? Okay, Prince Nadoon, what do you got for me? Traitors. Jin, we must escape as soon as possible. This unholy alliance of the Neferset with the minions of Deathwing does not bode well for us. Not sure what knuckle-headed plan your friend is concocting, but we're going to need a distraction if we stand a chance of escaping. Take the torch from that Brazier and go start some fires. Perhaps if we dis divert the Neferset scum's attention away, we'll have an opportunity we need. And Kavim the Callous. Kavim was cruel enough before the Neferset signed up with Deathwing. His pleasure in delivering pain now borders upon the insane. It's he who now holds the key to our shackles. Dwells in the building next to us to my right. Find him and take the key. Do not hesitate or show him mercy. He'll slit your throat and think nothing of it. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, but what do you got? Okay to you. I've got an idea. It's a good one this time. Take some of those shiny armor pieces the cat people wear. This plants cannot fail. See Trust me. Okay. Bud wants some armor. This. And Zar. Okay, another one of the crew we were with. We need to just... Set fire? Okay, wait. Take torches. Bale of hay burnt. You see a bale of hay anywhere around here? Ah, there's one. Okay. Is this my... My fellow here? Yeah. Oh, he's tough. Hold up. Okay, we've got the cage key. I've got some of the armor just laying around here. Okay. We can just find armor pieces, like, out and about. I don't actually technically need to kill these guys, I guess. Although, that said, uh, can't hurt to try. Okay. Everybody down. Oh, sweet. Those guys all guarantee drop armor. That's fantastic. Uh, let's burn some of these hay bales, then. I've got another one of the armor pieces right here. It means I just need to burn a couple more hay bales, and we're done with this set. Beautiful. Another hay bale down. If I find two more hay bales without having to fight anybody, that'd be pretty ideal. Yeah, set fire to this. One more hay bale. I think I saw one, yeah, over there. We can just run over to this one real quick. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, I forgot, this gives me bonus movement speed, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, I actually do want to keep this active. Okay, Nadoon. Everything's on fire. I've got the key. 
Deficit calling each other the east. This might yet work. Here's your key. Make our way out of here soon enough. Okay, do you happen to be handing me anything useful? No. Uh, bud, what what's the plan with the armor? See, See that this can't possibly go wrong. Everything's ready. Undo my chains and set your friends free. We must move quickly before the Neferset scum realize we're up to something. If we'd make it, see my brother, King Thauris, for a reward. I'm going to say Thauris. And reward is going to be... Turn down the monetary reward and increase your reputation by a thousand. Or 200 gold. Oh, the rep, for sure. Free at last, your reward will be substantial. Most moronic, half ass ridiculous plan you've ever come up with, bud. Is Bud going to build a fake Catman? I suppose it's the only plan we've got. What am I grabbing again? Your approach is unorthodox, so I suppose the smoke and the fires, all they'll see is your silhouettes. Oh my god. Look at me, I'm a manator. <laughs> Shut your stupid face, bud. Oh, this is terrible. We didn't even like build like one full one. We built like two crappy ones. This is this is just perfect. Okay, we did it. I do recognize this bit. This is uh, at the end of Battle for Azeroth. There was they used this zone for one of the big endgame things where you were doing um, dailies about uh, an old god invasion, where the zone would get taken over by old gods. That's basically the only interaction I've had with this zone was like doing the dailies for uh, Battle for Azeroth, and this was like the hub right here. I do remember this. We're like, right now we should be like in the middle of the zone? Yeah, right in the middle. Okay. Innkeeper, King Faurus, a cat. Give me this. Not even suitably rewarded. I hope I can speak with you frankly. You've done my kingdom a great favor, but you've also unbalanced the fragile peace process. I was pursuing my brother's release strictly through diplomatic means in order to avoid bloodshed. Now the enemy is sure to seek retaliation. Speak to Nomark Teneth at the Taret Grounds to the east, Sun Priest Asaris at the Seal of the Sun King to the north, and Asak Murat, Asak Atmurat to the west. Find out where the enemy will strike. Okay, so I gotta go check in with three people. Find out where the enemy will strike. Are you... You're like one of the cat people, but you're wearing like a cool ass, like, it's like a ram, ram's head thing. Man, these guys are wild. Oh, it's so cool. I love all this like ancient Egyptian themed stuff. It's really neat. Okay, what do we got here? Hello. Got little snake dudes. Oh, I should probably, yeah. Get my rep real quick. Um, is there a quartermaster around here somewhere? Let's go look for a quartermaster and like the reagents. Flight master is a good idea too. Grab the flight master. I'm trying to think. I know where the Quartermaster is, just from, uh... I'm guessing it has to be this back here. I was like, I see the other players back here, so this probably is it. Yeah. Ramka Hen Quartermaster. What are you selling? Reins of the Riding Camel. Okay, so there's two different camels I can get here. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if I have these, even in retail. I might never have done this. I might need to come back here in retail to get these camels. Um, and then what's this? A ring. Don't need it. Ooh. Excuse me. A wrist. That's not bad. 
plate, but that's not for me, not for me, mail, not for me, not for me. Unique equipped finger, strength, stamina, mastery. That's actually pretty good. I possibly want this. Is that revered? Um, stamp in spirit, no. Stam strength, mastery, crits. Oh, it does give me better everything, but I lose some dodge. I don't know if I want that or not. Ah, oh, whatever. We'll take a look at some of their stuff later. Um, for now, we gotta go talk to three people. So, one to the east, one to the west, one to the north, right? Well, I guess we'll just kinda hang out in the ground as much as possible. Screw it, we'll stick to ground mounts. Where possible, we're gonna stick to ground mounts just so I can actually, you know, see some of the zone. Rather than just flying everywhere. It'll be more interesting to explore this on foot. Uh, Seal of the Sun King. Speak with Nomark, Teneth, and... Okay, Sun Priest Asaris. What have you got? Sun Priest Aset here is on the ground. Might be able to help for the Nefer set behind this. Bandits work with the common Wastewound or Bandits. Rumored they're joining a more regimented group to the west. This violence is barbaric. Oh, pardon me. Relics of the Sun King. Seal of the Sun King serves as a defense mechanism for Ramkahan. When the barrier around Uldum fell, we began to see Waste Wander outriders from Tanaris filter into our borders. They attacked this holy site on their way west and robbed it of relics, which once provided its power. Recover the relics without them were powerless to defend against attacks from the desert. And then the set attempted to defend this ground when the Waste Wander bandits ransacked it. They appear to have used the potent toxin present in the Venom Blood Scorpions. Take this vial and collect venom from their corpses, so I collect an antidote. Here a set might not have much time. Okay, so I need to go find some of the relics and kill some scorpions. Okay, relics are apparently just on the bandits. That's good to know. And it's not 100% drop rate on these. Beauty. And not 100% drop rate on these either. Oh boy. It's gonna be one of these zones. Oh no. Wait, do I need to like... Okay, hold up, wait. I might actually be good. I might need to actually use this thing here to gather... Okay. I actually have to put the, the poison in a vial. So the, the poison does just guaranteed drop. Because you can just drain it. I see. These actually look like my uh, my other hunter's pet. Oh, cool. They change color when you drain them with poison. That's really neat. Yeah, my other hunter. The one I was leveling. Uh, for... Wrath, I think it was. I had a pet like that that just followed me around, that black and red scorpion. Oh no, these guys don't drop what I want. That's a pain. Come on. Go down. Uh, scorpion? Oh, it's so cool to actually change color. Oh my... Like, how did he survive that? Oh, no. How low is the drop rate on these uh, relics? That is alarming. Uh, Scorpion? I need to get closer. 
Oh, I need to, yeah, boost my strength again, too. Okay. There's one of the relics. I also remember there's, like, little statues you can find out in this zone. Like, little camel statues. If you collect enough of them, you can get a mount out of it, I think. You have to keep our eyes open. We might find little weird relics every now and then. I don't know how difficult that's going to be with the, like, the fact this is, like, a current active, you know, leveling and questing zone, but... We might run into something. Who knows? Uh, scorpion's good. Just checking if I remember to drain that one of its scorpion venom. We appear to be fine. Oh my god. Wait. I see a scorpion. Let's get him. And another bandit. Fantastic. It's too far away. Uh, keep this going. Beautiful. Okay, so I only need one more of the amulets and one more of the venom. And we got our venom right here. And if we're lucky, we got our amulet right there. I'm out of range. How are you looking? Beautiful. Got our amulet. So now I just head back, let him know we've got everything. And see if he's got any more follow-up to this. If not, we move on to the next area. No, I don't see any sign of any... Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, that's a plant. We're looking for little statues. Any little, little relics or artifacts we find out here we're going to want to be gathering. I remember there are just, like, they can just kind of spawn in basically anywhere. Alright, buddy. Yep. Venom blood antidotes. Bunch of garbage. Got it. Law demands that those behind this attack face proper retribution. The hand of Bandit's ringleader is a man known as Warlord Isen. Find him far west in the desert. Make sure his transgressions don't go unpunished. Okay. How, how far west? Apparently you mean northwest also. Yeah, what's this up here? We're like right near Ankaraj. So like some of this might be Ankaraj. Which is like one of the prisons that the old gods have been like sealed away in. It was where Cthun was sealed away. Uh, the one of the final raids of like Vanilla WoW was breaking into Ankaraj and assailing Cthun. Um, where's my warlord? Get this going. Get this going. Get this going. Perfect. Okay, he's like moderately tough, but honestly not too bad. And then we can just do that, and he's down. Just gonna check for any sign of statuette or artifact while we're here. They tend to be near other little bits of rubble. So anytime you're near a bunch of this rubble, it's usually worth just kind of taking a peek. Doesn't look like we got anything right now, so. That's fine. Back we ride. I'm assuming you're doing the same quest I just did. 
Almost certainly. Except you're flying. Which is faster, but it's less cool looking. But I want to actually enjoy this zone. This is very, like, up my... Up my jam. It's the reason I play Tomb Kings in, like old Warhammer stuff all the time, and I'm collecting all this Tomb King stuff. I just love this, like, art direction. Ancient Egypt had good art direction. <laughs> What's this? Strength, stamina, hit... Oh. Expertise and mastery, but I gain a bunch of strength and a bunch of stamina, and some hit rating. Oh, do I take this and lose a little bit of whatever... Thank you, Savage must be punished for what they've done here. Is this worth it? Oh, screw it, we'll upgrade for now, why not? Okay. You're done. So now you want me to ride this way, right? Where was Nomark Teneth? Tarret grounds to the east. I'm thinking that's this bit down here. We're just gonna... Oh god. I've acquired... friends. Oh, there's like crocodiles in this water. I see. Oh god, get me out of here. We'll just kill them. This has to be it, right? If I just, like, go down this way. Marat. This was one of the other ones, wasn't it? This was a sock. Sock, what's up? King wishes to be informed about recent Neverset activity. No movement. Just received word the city of Orsis is being hit by the largest sandstorm anyone has ever witnessed. I was about to send word to the king myself, but perhaps you can relay the information. Also, How Mac, what have you got? Doing a little celebratory drinking since our escape, and I've been thinking those little men that jumped us need to be brought to justice. If something ain't done, every unsuspecting explorer who sets foot in this place is going to get sold into slavery or worse. We were lucky to escape. I'm not sure I'd feel right if we didn't take care of them ambushers. How about you get back to Kartut's tomb? Give them little buggers what for? It's off to the northeast, just inside the entrance to Old Doom. What are you looking at? I ain't... I sure ain't in no condition to do it. See okay, that? so you want me to just head up and deal with the guys that ambushed us so that they can't ambush anyone else, which... does seem fair. That, that does seem like a, a worthwhile thing. Also, is there like a... Do they have, like, a dam set up here? Hold up. Is this how you were supposed to get over here? Did I just do this all wrong? Was I supposed to do, like... Go talk to you first, and then, like, ride up and around? It looks like there is, like, a dam here. How does this work? So there's, like... Oh... Okay, what if I go down here? I want to see what this looks like from the inside. Oh, this does look cool. Okay, so this isn't actually like... My priest, I'm met. What have you got going on? Visions are clouded like these waters. I wonder if you could see someone on the other side of that. This looks like it's just a window into a little, like, aquarium. This isn't actually, like, outside there. But I wonder if you had, like, two players. If you could, like, send one of them... Okay, we're gonna dive into the water real quick. I wanna check something. <laughs> Is there actually a window on the other side of this? It 
does not look like it. Yeah, okay, that... That's just, like, an aquarium built into the wall on the inside of the dam. Got it. Good to know. Also, screw it. We're gonna fly to get out of this. There we go. What have we got going on out here? Is this the other place they were sending me? I think it is. Tarret Grounds. I'm supposed to be looking for somebody out here. Oh, it's like the little farms. Okay. You there. No Mark Teneth. Lars asked me to set you about net for set activity. King is sending a stranger to gather information. I suppose it must be that. What's the word? Draenei? The Draenei that rescued Prince of the Dune. Any race, I haven't seen any signs of never set scum this far north. There are plenty of other nuisances to be dealt with, however. Uh, don't have the most glamorous job. I'm not concerned myself with matters of war or the deep mysteries of the halls of Uldum or what have you. I'm in charge of these grounds, and these grounds grow dates. These little date-plucking mongrels have gotten gutsy enough to stand on each other's shoulders to try to steal my precious fruit. I will not stand for this. Take this mallet, crafted by the titans, blessed by the sun kings, and who knows what else, and smash the runts. Okay, you want me to smash a bunch of pygmy oafs. How does this work? Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and give him a little whack. Profa Jepaved. I don't know if I'm saying that right at all, but thanks for the follow. Hope you're doing well. I just go with Profa for now. Unless you have a better, a, a, a shorter, shorter, a different name you prefer. But I feel like I'm probably not going to pronounce that full one correctly. Hope you're doing well. Alright, keep whacking these idiots. I mean, this quest seems remarkably easy. Alright. Beautiful. Okay, we're done. Um, let's go let him know that the dates are safe for now. That's what date trees actually look like? It's, I, always, I never realized that. Those look like palm trees, if I had to guess. I would have assumed coconuts. Job showed those thieving little scoundrels. Alright. Did I hit a new rep with these guys already? Cool. We're up to friendly. Alright. Uh, I guess we'll let the king know that we've talked to everybody. Uh, I don't really have a reason to head all the way off to Kartet's tomb just yet. So for now, we'll stick around here. Are you seriously not looking a better way back? Why is there not like a... Oh, whatever. <laughs> Y'all need to invest in roads. <laughs> Gotta run through the swamp. Alright. We're here. What have we got? You Ferris, what have you got? How could I have not seen this? It struck Orsis with no natural sandstorm. It was the minions of Alakir. Elemental Lord of Air is firmly allied with Deathwing. Only a matter of time before he sent his subjects upon my people. Orsis has been attacked as a warning. We must move quickly to offer our brethren what aid we can. Meet within the dune at the Arsa trade post outside of Marat. I'll begin preparations to take care of the displaced and wounded. Okay. So, we've got our, our first hint of what we're going to be dealing with here. I know Alakir is one of the raid bosses. I think a raid's already out. I think they already released some of the earlier raids here, but... Throw one of the four winds, I believe, is yeah, Alakir. One of the other elemental lords. We've already met Therizane, met Neptalon. We've met Ragnaros. And then we've got, yeah, the fourth one here is Alakir. The Lord of the Wind. 
Oh god. Can I just... Nope. No dice on a shortcut. Alright, let's head back to Marat. And it looks like, yeah, we're actually heading somewhere just over this way. Oh! What is this? Pyrite deposit. That's new. I mean, I don't think pyrite's particularly valuable in the real world, but it's good in Warcraft. What do I know? Let's see what Deathmig's minions have done. Great Orsus is now all but buried in the sand. Alakir has sent his minions to do Deathmig's bidding. The message is clear. We join them or they destroy us. Don't know much about you, but I do know this. If you prove yourself to be an enemy of Alakir's, your aid will not go unnoticed. What do you say? Okay. And then Amantep... Cannot be. Orsus is all but buried beneath the desert sands. The enemy will pay for this. First, we must aid my people. Quick, we do not have much time before the last of my brethren are buried alive. Rescue eight survivors. Prophet Hadassi is the wisest and eldest member of the Orsus tribe. Not being accounted for and his well-being is of vital importance. Go to Orsus and find him. Great day of reckoning will come to Alakir's lackeys if he's been hurt. Okay, so wait, where's Orsus? Is this, is this Orsus right here? So did the pyrite respawn already? Oh, it's not pyrite. This time it's elementium. Okay, that's fine. I'll take it. Is is this the great sandstorm that it was engulfed by? I need to get close. Not gonna lie, doesn't look that bad. I mean, these guys look like they could be a problem, but. I was like, I mean, I guess there's a little bit of a sandstorm. It just kind of bothers me considering there was, like, an actual really cool set of, like, weather animations from Tenaris back in the day. For, like, actual sandstorms. And because they got rid of, like, random weather in Kata, they just don't have that. Also, what are you? Oh, you're a survivor. Oh my god. You are... Not having a good day. Holy shit, there's another one here. I just didn't even notice him. Let's... Let's get you out of there, bud. Oh! Hey, this is the, uh... The music from, uh... What's the swamp in Outland? Dangermarsh. Well, at least partially some of the music from Zanger Marsh. I recognize that little horn bit. Okay, hold up. We'll head in here. How are we looking? I remember doing some kind of daily out here. And like, looking for those little, little statue things. Okay. No more signs of any statues. Need one more of you down. Uh, one more of you down. Beautiful. I should be good to go to go turn in this quest looking for their prophet? Hello? Oh. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's not dead. It says dead, but he's not. Who are you? Sent here to rescue my people and fight our enemies. We're bound by oath to protect the scepter of Orsus. We don't have much time left. Find the sacred receptacle in the southern end. Do not let it fall into their hands. 
Okay, so they're looking for the Scepter of Orses at the southern end. Uh-huh. In here? Chest is locked, plaque bearing interesting hieroglyphics above it. Chest containing the scepter appears to be magically sealed and will not budge. Plaque depicts two giant statues holding star and moon shaped stone sockets at their center. Two statues are pictured guarding pyramids that look like the ones outside. Perhaps it's worth your while to investigate these. I'm guessing it's going to be that Colossus that we saw over there. Also, apparently we're not rescuing the rest of these guys. They just get to live in the sand now. Uh, Colossus of the Sun. Yeah, that looks important. What do you mean, stealing? You can't steal that whole thing. You'll be punished for this transgression. Oh, for God's sake. Hi, these things are, uh, quite durable. Zone of the Sun. Okay, and there's another one over here? Is there another? There is. Another Colossus. Okay. Hello there, sir. I can't attack that. I can't attack that target. Come on. I already know where this is going. Let's just... Okay, we've got our stones. Colossus is down. I'm assuming I can just go plug this in now. I'll be able to, like, open this chest and get the scepter. Not sure what the scepter does, but... From the sound of what the prophet was saying, it's probably why they attacked this place. Hey, what's that? Is that something that I need? No. Here you go. Wipe away the sand... Only if them to be covered by a new layer, you'd best hurry. Place the two gems in the sockets on the wall. Chest unlocks with a loud click as you insert the stones. Let's obtain the scepter and bring it back to Amantep. Okay. I need to obtain the scepter. Okay, pull this out of here. Got it. And we're taking this back to General Amantep, who is outside of here in this direction. We might as well, yeah, just ride out this way. No real reason to stick around here any longer. Look at that. Weird. Just kind of keeping my eyes open for any signs of any little statues or anything hiding out here. Okay. Continue to prove a valuable ally. Uh, this gets me nothing that I need. Okay, under the choking sands, I have some what I can and the scepter. This is what Alakir wanted all along. Yes, this is what they were after. Strength, stamina, mastery. Eh. Full arm, but it's downgrade. Vortex Pinnacle. One of our civilian leaders was taken prisoner by air elementals. They're probably torturing him for information as we speak. Go to the Vortex Pinnacle where these foul creatures came from and look for Itesh. Find the entrance hovering off the southeastern coast of Uldum. That's a dungeon, isn't it? Hurry, we must speak to my brother. He's bent on averting war with Alakir in the Nefer set. Foolishly hopes... There's a diplomatic solution. Maybe once he hears what's occurred here, he'll see reason. Okay, so we're going to go tell the king that we think diplomacy is off the table. Where's Vortex Pinnacle? Vortex Pinnacle's way down here. Also, there's three dungeons here? 
Lost City of Tolvir. Falls of Origination. Oh, interesting. Also, this this is respawned again. Let me just uh, mine you. Okay. Interesting. I'll hold off on the dungeon for just a minute. Just in case we get any more quests that are going to send us there. We'll probably do like an end, end of zone dungeon run. Try to wrap up anything that we're getting related to this. Okay, back to the king. Yeah, I actually don't know any of these dungeons. I haven't run these in ages and ages and ages. Just the beginning, if Deathwing's minions can carry or bury entire cities, we have little chance of defeating them through conventional means. Alright, what have we got? Ought to give the enemy what they're after and spare our people the coming bloodshed. Urge you to reconsider, Faris. Deathwing would use the Scepter's power to unravel the secrets of Oldum and the Leash Great Destruction. Who are you? Let's act to protect my people first. Our enemies buried in or buried Orsus in the desert. How do you fight against that sort of power? We fight to the death, Faris. A race was created to guard this land. We must not betray that legacy. Okay. words ring true, but even a king cannot make this decision alone. We must put the issue to high council vote. I defer to your wisdom, brother. Let's pray we're quick to come to a decision. The enemy will not... Okay, this is the prince. The enemy will not wait. Got it. The dune? The guy we rescued? The enemy will not wait, but the cutscene sure will. Gotcha. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Just really wanted to make sure I got a good look at these guys. Uh, nothing from you guys. Thunder Dune. What have you got for me? Oh, quite a bit. Rumken will only wage war against the Neferset if the High Council's vote is unanimous. Odds are against us. My brother needs to understand there's no reasoning with Deathwing as allies. Getting Vizier Tanatep to go into my brother's wishes is going to be extremely difficult. His very position is based on enforcing the will of Faurus. We have... I've had little luck making the case for open war against Neferset. Nonetheless, you must speak to him. Perhaps he will listen to an outsider's perspective. Uh, find him at... Akinet Fields on official business. High Priest Amet's vote is... The only one that is completely outside of our control. He'll vote as his divinations tell him, and nothing we will do will dissuade him. I figure that gives us even odds either way. The only problem we face is that his clairvoyance has failed him ever since the barriers around Uldum fell. He will not cast a vote unless he regains power over his divinations. Take the stairs to either side of Virnal Dam and speak to him. Oh, we actually spoke to him already. I know exactly who that is. And if we're to sit, pass a resolution for war, the High Council's vote needs to be unanimous. I'm certain High Commander Comsis will give us his vote once he hears about what happened at Orsis. Speak to him in Ram, Ramkahen to make sure that's the case. I'll make preparations in case our plan fails. Okay, well, Ramkahen uh, is right over here, right? Yeah, so we'll just ride this way. Head through the dam and then south into that. That should be fine, yeah. What have we got here? Let's cross the river here. Oh, it's so cool looking. <laughs> whole zone is so neat. Let's so, say, yeah, Ramkahan is just this little lake where the dates are, right? Or is it just south of that?
Oh, this is the turret grounds, right. Well, it must be this little bit just south of it then. There's the dam. Um, how do I get, is there like a path down there or do I just have to ride down this hill? This feels clumsy, but very well. Just drop off the side, it's fine. Let's see, I want to take a look at this dam from down below. That's really cool. The ancient Egyptians have functioning aqueducts. and I mean, they had some kind of aqueduct systems, I guess. But did they have, like, large-scale stone dams like this? I'm not sure that was a thing. Granted, I mean, this obviously isn't, like, strictly based on ancient Egypt. But I'm curious if that's, like, something I just don't know about. I don't need to fill me in on the events in Orsis. I've heard of them already and about you. An enemy of Alakir is a friend of mine. Okay. The chain is only as strong as its weakest link. I subscribe to that theory and expand upon it. Rather than removing the weak link, one must strengthen it. Other links will step up their performance out of fear of they themselves becoming the weakest link. In my army's case, our weak link has a name, Salhet. You'll find him training near the bottom of those stairs. Start him off with something easy. The hyenas in the hill to the west. With a sizable army, but I'm afraid of coming showdown with never set hordes will demand that all able bodied Tolvir of Ramkahan and Orsis join the fight. I want you at the forefront of our recruiting efforts. Go across the river to the Akinet fields and recruit the laborers that work there. Okay, well, we've got to go over that way anyway, so that's fine. Notice we're slightly ill prepared for the battle. Tolvir tribes have never seen any sort of major confrontation for thousands of years. All the combat protocols that the titans programmed into our ancestors are still there though some part of our instincts some get passed on as tradition but none of this can com compensate for lack of supplies we need weapons we need armor best armor is lined with the skin of riverbed crocolis nearby help us gather some got it what's this solid no no arm up Great honor to meet you. I've heard much about you. Camps is a special mission for me. Don't tell me it's the hyenas again. I'll do my best. Meet me at Sunwatcher's Ridge. I won't disappoint you. Where the hell is Sunwatcher's Ridge? Oh, all the way over there. Okay. Well, we'll ride through the dam. And then find our way back up and around. That's fine. Is there a path up that I'm just not seeing? Are they really just, like demand that you fly this often. Kind of lame. I'm out of range. I don't want to fly all the time. You don't get to see the zone as much when you're flying all the time. I've waited many years to actually quest through this zone, so screw it. We're going to get our steps in today. Hey, Musil, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Okay, what's this? This is the little, like, date trees. Which means the dam should be here. And then we can ride across this. I still my research from college, wonder how I got through with this. <laughs> what uh, subject were you uh, doing in college? Oh, God. Alright. I met High Priest. War, you say? Divinations for war are always difficult. Some wars must never be fought, even if victory was assured. Some wars have to be waged, even if defeat is certain. Okay. Slaying the foul creatures that plague the river will not be enough. A new generation of these monstrosities already threatened to spawn within our holy waters. Seek their foul eggs and destroy them. Shortly after Uldum's protective barriers fell, the Virnal River became afflicted with a terrible corruption. Whether it was brought here maliciously or accidentally is not of great significance. The result is the same. As the river becomes clouded, so does our ability to peer into what the future holds for us. Look outside. These foul creatures were never meant to live in the pristine waters of our river. Slay them so the river may grant us visions once again. Polyside, gotcha. 
Okay, so I need destroy six eggs, kill a bunch of dudes in the river. Got it. Oh, these things are weird looking. Got like proper sea serpents out here. Okay, I need to destroy some eggs too. I don't suppose he gave me a way to breathe underwater. Sometimes they'll, they'll be nice when you're doing this and give you a like enchant or something. Another psych with a mild interest in teacher's education. There. These are cool looking. But apparently they're a plague. They're they're not they're an invasive species. It's clouding the waters so they're not able to get their visions like they're expecting to. So sorry snakes, but you gotta die. Also, I need to halfway keep an eye on my air so that I don't drown while doing this. I think we'll be fine. Maybe we just aim to take down all the eggs for now, and then I can, like, surface for air get the rest of them. Imagine having to deal with the rupees with arachnophobia. Yeah, imagine. I have horrible arachnophobia. So, uh, it's one of the things I'm actually not looking forward to about the uh, next Mao expansion. The next Mao expansion looks great. Uh, War Within looks fantastic. Um, but they did mention that we're going to be going back down to like. Uh, the Nerubian Undercities underneath uh, Northrend for part of it. Oh, wait, what the hell is this? That's still I don't know if they have eight or four. It honestly might be six. I'm not sure. We can go take a look. There's, there's some Nerubian-style enemies not too far from here. Um, Silithus has some... Nerubian style dudes floating around out there. New Rock is more beetle than spider, that's true. It definitely is. Also, I want to see where this underwater cave goes. I don't have a dart. Okay, I need two more of these guys dead. I see we have a couple more right here. So let's see if I can just take care of this real quick. Come here. We got him. He wreck has four legs. No way. Really? I could have sworn he had at least six. Uh, which, which model are you looking at? Are you looking at his Warcraft 3 model or his uh, WoW model? I'm curious That's if they changed that at all ready. when they did yeah. Warcraft. Or World of Warcraft, I guess. Yeah, where the hell does this go? Why is there like a... Cave under here. What is this? Dark Ritualist Zakan. Well, you're not a rare. I'm gonna guess we... Well, screw it. We're gonna kill this guy to see if he drops anything cool. Oh god. Okay, so there's a lot of things here.
I'm gonna bet that that guy's part of a quest later. The hell did I just hit? Weird. Is it like Nerubian royalty to have less legs? I'm trying to think because there's like the three different types of bug people. Um, I don't know how familiar you are with the like the Nerub lore, but like they were part of the like Black Empire back when the uh, old gods ruled Azeroth, and it was all like one continent back in the like Pangaea days of Azeroth. Um, and there were s at least I think it's three three different tribes of them. That worshipped different old gods. So there was like one tribe centered around where Cthulhu was based, one tribe centered around where um, um, Yogg-Saron was based, and then one tribe centered around where Yasharaj was based. And they all kind of like evolved in different ways. Like the uh, Nerubians um, ended up evolving into like weird spider monsters, whereas the ones near Yasharaj ended up becoming more like wasp creatures, almost. And then the uh, the ones down here just became like weird, skittering beetles. We'll, 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 we can see some of those. It's really interesting. Thank you. This will make our prophetic visions that much clearer. Source of the taint still lingers. You're about to send me to go kill that guy, aren't you? Filer's ritual I can see more clearly. We're right to be wary of the evil never set. I can already see they're behind the forces that corrupt the river. Go underwater and find the murk deep cavern. Would you believe he's sending me to go kill the guy that I just killed? Also, I think this quest, if we're lucky, it well we're pretty close. We're we're a hundred thousand XP away from hitting max level. I'm just going to continue questing through the zone at max level. Like, we're not going to stop questing through the zone. Because I've been waiting to quest through the zone for a long, long time. So, I want to see all the zone. What is this? Why is there something in the water here? The hell is this? Like a fishing bobber out here. <laughs> Bipedal bug people, kind of the the like the ones up in uh, Pandaria are the ones that were like corrupted by Yasharaj, the Killik, um, and they I think they have more than just two legs. I think they they might have four arms. They're, they're more bug-like, but they stand. They kind of stand more upright. Um, they look kind of like wasps. Uh, and yeah, they're called the Killick. They're very cool. All the all the the weird bug people in this game are very cool. Okay, get that going. Hold up. Get this going. Get this going. Get that going. There we go. Now we're fine. Come, my children, defend me. It was a little rougher because I didn't have my uh, Empower Rune weapon available this time, which does make the fight a bit slower. That's okay. We'll be alright. Okay. Ta-da! We killed him again, but this time for the quest. But yeah, when the when the continents split, because uh, you know eventually the shattering or sundering, was it the sundering I think it was called the sundering uh, was when the the continents all split apart when the uh, well of eternity was corrupted by uh, Ajara. And then Deathwing attempted to steal the power of it to summon an old god. And it sundered all of the continents into separate continents. Uh, the different bug people all ended up on different continents. So we got, like, the ones that live down in Silithus down here. 
Um, we've got, and they kind of show up around the continent a little bit more. Um, there are the ones that live down in Pandaria, which we, you know, isn't here yet, but it will eventually be down here. And there's the ones up in Northrend, which is where the Nerubians uh, hang out. And yeah, apparently War Within, we're going to be getting to go down into the, like, the Nerubian Undercities, which is really cool. I'm very excited for that. That was a, a cut content idea for Wrath of the Lich King, was they wanted to have an entire underground zone that was going to be like the Nerubian zone, but they ended up scrapping it for time time constraints. Waters of the river are nearly cleansed. Prophetic visions will soon return. You might have dealt with the symptoms of our problem, but I've been studying these foul beasts, and the eggs are not laid here by them. The stream from the current carries their eggs to the dam, but whatever is laying them will be found upstream. Go northeast to the river's main source and deal with the root of the c corruption. Okay, we gotta go kill whatever's laying these eggs, which is quite a ways upstream. Okay, we'll head this way. Ah, oh, it's really cool. I wish it worked when you were looking at it, but it is really cool. Okay, follow the river north. As long as we're doing this too, keep your eye open for crocolisks. We do need to gather some crocolisks for the armor. And it said they should. Oh, that's really cool, these little statues of them and stuff here. All this architecture is just, just great. Just phenomenal. So if we see yeah, any crocolisks on the river. Ah, here's one now. Beautiful. Kill a few of these on the way up. Boom! Level 85 from killing a crocolisk. Phenomenal. I should probably head back and do my, uh, hit my trainer real quick to see if I've learned any new abilities from that. Would probably be worthwhile. We'll kill this, uh, this thing first, and then we'll swing back after that. It is entirely possible that I'll have some new abilities. Make sure the Nerubian spider rookie doesn't even have a spider in the front. What, like the Warcraft wiki? Or are you in, are you in Wowpedia? The Night Elf and there's the Ruby and Spiders in the background. I wonder which picture it is. I'm trying to think of which one that would be. Are you... Is it, uh... Nerubian Spider. If I just do that and take... Yeah, it's probably going to be... Wowpedia. Uh... There's not much here. Name is unofficial. The Rubians. I'm looking for which picture it is you found. Because I got a bunch of pictures of them. They, they appear to have... Or it's mostly centered on the spiders. If you just go to the Nerubians page, that seems to have... A, at the very bottom, there's a bunch of really good pictures of all the... All the different Nerubians. There's a bunch of really good pictures of the Nerubians down here. These are cool. Um, also, yeah, does what's-his-name actually only have... Why can't I think of his name now? Uh, bup, 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 Anubarak. Anub... Seriously, only has... Four legs? That's weird. I guess he does, yeah. Four legs, and I guess he's got two arms. So he's got, like, a normal beetle number of limbs... But yeah, he uses two of them like arms instead of like legs. But his total limb count, I guess, would be in line with a a typical beetle. But yeah, then like the regular spiders and stuff have like eight total limbs. Like they're they're on par with what you'd expect for a normal spider. Okay, 
keep that moving. We're just going to keep killing Crocolis on our way up the river. Also, yeah, I should hit my last talent. There we go. The final talent in my horribly unoptimized build that I didn't look at any guides for, and I just kind of winged it. Because screw it. It'll be fine. It's not that serious. We're not doing, like, competitive rating or anything here. This got me all the talents that I wanted. And it gives me the really fast flight speed on my mount. And that's, that's the important bit. Is that when I'm out in the world, I move slightly faster than everyone else. Okay. I've got all my Crocolis crap. Can I get up here on foot or am I going to have to fly up here? Are you going to force me to fly? Don't be lame, game. Ooh, Pyrite. Eh. Where'd that bug go? There was one of those weird bugs here. That thing. The Sand Husk Scarab. These are one of the weird... Weird... Cthulhu bugs. Yeah, these guys appear to have six legs and then two feelers. Like it's what we're, what we're working with here. It's actually a really cool color scheme on that one, too. I wonder if that's a tameable one, if you can get that as a hunter pet. Oh my god, please. Eh. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> oh, somebody fishing up here. For God's sake. Getting dinged by a scorpion while I'm up here. Ridiculous. Okay, where is my thing? Scale Mother Hevna. Something I'd collect in Genshin. To oh my god, it's a big boy. A well, big girl, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, she... <laughs> Her model does not know which direction it wants to be facing. And this is a deep pit. How far down does this go? What's at the bottom? Absolutely nothing. That's good to know. Alright. Can I get out of here? Oh, the Scale Mother has respawned. Let's just try to avoid that if we can. And then, yeah, we'll pop back to my, my Death Knight house real quick. See if I've learned any new abilities at level 85. And then we can just take the port from uh, Stormwind to get back down here. I'm assuming the portal will be opened up. You know, these snakes saw a video of police officers killing some guys. The eagle $300,000 python accidentally. Oh my god. Was it just because they didn't think he was like able to own it? Or did it like, did it, like escape? I was like, I guess if it, like, escaped and was, like, roaming the town, I could maybe see justifying that, because, like, it could be a, a reasonably, depending on how large it was, uh, a reasonably serious danger, but if it was just, like, in his house, like, yeah, no, you can't just, fine, man, you gotta leave that thing alone. Uh, wait, can I not train with her? Do I actually have to train with the blood guy? Oh, no kidding. That's kind of neat. Speak your peace. All right, buddy. 
What do you got for me here? Dark Simulacrum. Places a Dark Ward in an enemy that persists for 8 seconds. Triggering... Wait. When the enemy next spends mana on a spell, along the death knight will unleash a duplicate of that spell. Oh, right. Okay, so I can, like, steal an enemy's spell. That's kind of cool. Came around to humanely execute the illegal snake as a few new bill hesitantly agreed. Told him five times which snakes to kill and which snakes to not touch at all. Oh, so we had some illegal snakes because of a new bill, and they killed the wrong one. It's still awful. Shouldn't kill the snakes. Just, I don't know, find find them to a proper home. That's That's awful. Necrotic Strike. Vicious Strike deals 100% weapon damage and absorbs the next 4,500 healing off the target for 10 seconds or until the full amount of healing is absorbed. Target's casting time is increased by 30. Uh, that seems good. That said... Oh my god. Do I not have space on my bars anymore? Okay, this is going to go over here for now. Uh, we're going to put... Okay, this can get off of here. We don't need Firebomb on here anymore. Um, God, I just don't have space on my bars anymore. I've used every every last bit of space on these. What have I got? Dark Simulacrum. You're going to go here. I'm probably not going to use you that often. This one is interesting. Necrotic Strike. 100% weapon damage. No cooldown. Absorbs the next 4,500 healing. 4,500 is like nothing, though. For 10 seconds until the full amount of healing. That, that could be useful in PvP. In, like, arenas. If you had a healer in an arena. I could see a situation where that's useful. Normally, it's like Squire Edwards. Oh my God, who are you? Ah, oh, these guys are great out here. Love these guys. Uh, something. I've already got that I mount. Should... Don't need to do anything with that. I don't think there's anything else here. The engine. Thirty snakes were previously obtained legally because it's state. Of course, it was Florida. Of course it was Florida. Yeah, that that's a Florida news story if I've ever heard one. Florida is absolutely the wang of America. <laughs> Figuratively and literally. <laughs> Apologies if you live in Florida, but... It must at least be entertaining there. <laughs> Dark Moon, what do you got? Dark Moon Fair. Eh, I don't want to go there just yet. Let's go head back to Old Doom and continue my questing. Oh, you know what? While I was there. Eh, whatever, I'll deal with it later. I was like, while I was in. Asherus, I should have picked up my dual talent specialization so that I could have a, a second spec available so that I could switch over to uh, Frost if I want to. That would have been a smart idea. Oh well. Live and don't learn. That's how Keeper's officer carry an unknown raiding facility. 34 snakes, snake group bed. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, it does seem like it's going to be uh, a pretty hefty, hefty fine. And it sounds like the guy was complying with local laws and regulations as needed. So, yeah, no, no real question there. I was like, at the very least, yeah, he's going to be compensated for the monetary value, I would assume. 
It's still awful. I feel like they need to, they, 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 that, that needs to change. If you're going to have animals that were obtained legally, and you're just declaring them illegal to own as pets now, like, they just need to be, should, should just be getting taken in by proper, proper facilities. Give it to a zoo or something, man. Like, awful. Okay. Might not think up. This adds up to much. This very well might be the difference between life and death to our soldiers. Okay. Plates. Yeah, this all seems fine. We can get rid of that. Um, I need to, at this point, go tell their priest here. Screw it. We'll just fly up here. I'm going to try to stay on foot as much as possible just so I can explore the zone a bit, but... For short little hikes like that, or I'm just backtracking, we'll go ahead and pop on the flight. Okay, we can tell the priest that we've cleared up all the snakes in the area. Bison's invasive to the Florida area, is that just them? Um, I would assume they're not native. There might be pythons there, but I would guess that whatever type of python they had was, was not native. Not to mention, even then, like, you don't want to release a... a like, they wouldn't be... Even if they that, that species is native, that particular you know, tamed one, a pet one, wouldn't wouldn't do well in the wild and could lead to problems if you let them loose. They could be, you know, if you're taking care of them in a, in a tamed setting, uh, they could grow to a much larger size than they would likely grow in the wild, which could pose a threat to the local wildlife population. And 30 of them getting released would be, you know, a bit. <laughs> Certainly visited by a vision before the High Council meets... I will only be swayed by what I see. You might have helped us greatly here, but if the vision sways me to make a case against war, that then that is the way my vote will be cast. Okay. So he's letting us know that we've helped him out greatly, but that he's still going to vote uh, based on what he believes is the, the vision. So. Ah, okay. So this belt is an upgrade. Gotcha. Go ahead and equip that. That's an upgrade for tanking. Yeah, if he, he is, if his visions say that war against the Nepper set is not the way, then he is going to say no war, despite the threats that they've posed and that he's seen here. Fair enough. I suppose if you believe in visions, you're gonna you're gonna stick to your visions. Let's uh, real quick. Yep. What are we doing down here? Oh, this is cool. Yeah, they've got like little automated water, like windmill water, water pumps here, helping with the irrigation. Oh, and it's like a corkscrew system. Oh, that's really neat. So you've got like a a water screw, pumping water up to up to here. That's cool. Um, what are you? Yeah, Rescue Prince is the only drown I'll ever take orders from. Okay, right, we're recruiting all these farmers. Let's do it. Rumors about you are true. I'll gladly join you in the fight against the Nefer set. Then romp ahead with my bare hands if I have to. Alright, cool. So we're just recruiting all of these guys into the army. Defend our lands. About time we started doing something. Look, okay, guys, like a rehab center. Oh, there's a, there's a bunch of those around. Yeah, there's, honestly, generally speaking, we're... America's pretty good on, on its treatment of exotic animals. There's some weirdos that, like, do that take things out, out of hand and do all kinds of weird nonsense, but, like, there's plenty of places that have, like, proper care facilities and stuff like that for wildlife, native and non-native. Rumors are true. I'll gladly join you in the fight against the Nefer set. All right. Beautiful. Uh, I need to help. Okay, who's this? 
What are we turning in here? Is this this uh, vizier? Oh, this is a vizier. What matter of creature are you? You will leave the king's lands before. Wait, you're that Blackwater Park I've heard so much about. You must pardon my lack of hospitality. I've seen all manner of hostile intruders since the barrier around Uldum fell. I've devoted my life to serving the king. That service is unrivaled in importance by anything, with one exception, my son. The hat was captured by Nefers at centuries. They claim my son was trespassing upon their territory. Varus is attempting to negotiate his release, but I fear the worst. If you were to find the hat, I would pledge my vote to you. I do not know where they take the prisoners, but I've seen the guards consult maps to guide them through the thick vegetation. Okay, so we need to go help him rescue his son by getting a map from the guards, and then we need to go and help that one soldier kill some... What are we killing? Hyenas. Over in this direction. Got it. I'll farm ostriches, but it makes sense. About as dumb as chickens, but bigger. Yeah, I mean, we don't farm ostriches, like, commonly. That's definitely a very rare, rare thing. Like, you're not just going to be, like, rolling around a farm and just bump into an ostrich. That's... <laughs> There's a, there's a very small number of very specific farms that do that. And like you're not just gonna find like you know ostrich burger on the map at your on the menu at your local restaurant. Might be the map you're after. You obtain a map of the Virnal River Delta. One-handed axe. Don't need it. All right. Hieroglyphs depicting a Shane Tolvir marked the southeastern corner. Perhaps that was brought there when he was in prison. Go to the prison camp and find the whereabouts of Tahet. Okay. Southeastern corner of... Oh, so all the way down here, I see. Let's go deal with these hyenas first, then. Here I am? Okay. Uh, we're done practicing. I'll see you later. Okay, no, we're not done practicing. I need you to come up here. Because the hyenas are up here, my buddy. Uh, does this count if I kill this right now, or do I have to have him with me? It does say help him defeat the hyenas. Okay, these are counting. Even though he's not here, these are counting. But yeah, that said, I was like, I, I have had ostrich burgers. They're good. Oh my god, this guy is super weak. Holy crap. It's not fair on my target, it moved. Oh no. Okay, so this guy is not skilled. Got it. Wait. For just a second, I thought I saw very large wings flapping over there. I was a little worried Deathwing might be making a visit to the zone. I was like, this is one of the zones he can he can hang out in. Why are all of my hyenas dead? I need to get closer. I mean, there's still plenty of coyotes, dogs, raccoons. Yeah, no, we still got plenty of plenty of places to take care of them. Very specialized care, but like, I can't cast that yet. and like, typically, if you have a problem with a potentially rabid, you know, rabid animal, like they just they just put it down for safety measures because rabies is, you know, really dangerous. But as far as it's not like they're just like, oh no, every sick sick animal. Is clearly rapid. <laughs> Particularly if it hasn't like harmed any people. There, there's there's plenty of places they can go that can help them. I actually just saw some really cute uh, baby raccoons last night. 
That's great, wasn't it? Before you give up on me, there's something I'd like to show you. You see, I'm not much of a fighter. Not very coordinated. I'm more of a tactical mind. Maybe at the southern edge of the ridge and I'll show you. Okay. Yeah, we went out for a drive uh, in the state park uh, near here. And just while we were out driving, we were like turning a corner and there was like a, a little family of three little baby raccoons crossing the road. Oh my god, wait, are these camels killing all of my hyenas? Oh my god. Okay, so Sahat wants to show me that he thinks he is a tactical genius. Alright, Sahat. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, fine. You know what? Here you go, buddy. What do you got? Aren't they beautiful? Ever since I was a cub, I've always wanted to be a general. I'd, it's eager to join the army. If you've seen, my combat skills are not all quite there. It's not the first time I've been sent to kill hyenas. As a matter of fact, I get sent here so often I've been befriending these lions and trained them to do my bidding. They're my soldiers and at my command they will slay legions of hyenas. Speak to Salhat and slay 30 scavengers. Okay. Do what you and your lions can do. What have we got going on here? Uh, move them to the targeted location. Command the lions to let a fierce roar. Enemies will be overcome by fear. Increase attack speed by 40%. Attack. Strike an additional opponent. Last 12 seconds. Left flank. Engage them. Uh... Okay, so we want to... Yeah, get in here. Fear them. Approach from the right now. Use my roar if the lions become overwhelmed. Cool. Let's keep the the fear going. I think we're just gonna use these on cooldown. Seems sensible. I can't do that yet. Approach in both sides with great numbers. Okay. How are my lions doing? My lions are doing okay. This is not great numbers, but that's fine. Uh, guys, I want everybody over here. Yeah, and then fear them and cut them down while they're while they're feared. This is super awkward. <laughs> okay, hold up. Uh, hit that, hit that. Yeah, no, get these guys. Let's go get this. Oh my god, no. Get get these. Take them down one at a time. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god, there's a bunch of them. Okay, fall back a little bit. Uh, fear them. And then start cutting them down. Yeah, there we go. And then hit the AoE so we can cut all these, cleave all these guys down. Beautiful. There we go. Okay, that actually went pretty well. I, I don't ever want to do that again, but that went pretty... Hello? Why can't I... turn this quest in? Game? Are you, are you feeling okay? There we go. Not bad, maybe you can put in a word with the High Commander. Maybe he'll put me in charge of our own squad. Okay. Rank Stamina Mastery. Oh, I do gain a bunch of Mastery, but I lose some Parry rating, but I gain Strength. Well, I'll take it, why not? We'll try it out. Let's see if it's any good. Return to the High Commander at the Legion Post. Alright. Go down and kill those lions. No, the lions are fine. The lions, lions are fine. I do need to go rescue that guy's kid. Uh, I'm just going to fly down here for this. He's apparently south along this river. So this was like where we killed the guys to get the map. So if I just follow this south, where does this take me? River Delta. Lost City of the Tolvir. 
Okay, I can like follow this south. Interesting. More bugs. Yeah, we're like all the way at the south end of the map now. So, head around through here. Here's the city. I don't see an entrance, though. Nothing really going on here. Somewhere near here should be the little prison camp. Where they're saying that guy's son was being held. Yeah, it's, it's gotta be this. Is that him there? Wait, let's go talk to the prisoner. Maybe he'll know. Looking for Tehet. Here come the Neverset guards. Fight near me so I can beat their skulls in. Oh, okay. Can do. This guy wants to help. He can help. Okay, now what? We've got more of them. Okay. They do seem to be like made of stone. Interesting. Hello? Oh, we've got an elite. Okay, hold up. Uh, spread that to the other guy. Let's get this going. Oh, you're cool looking. You got like wings and stuff? Alright, give me my buff. Let's get this going. Picks up a key from the Neverset Enforcer. Read him at last. Head is no longer here. A cruel Neverset warlord called Camus took him. Okay. Spot on the southern edge of the map was marked with hieroglyphs of crocodiles fighting each other. It must be where Camus took the head. Go to the Pit of Scales. Find a way to rescue the vizier's son. Camus does horrible things to prisoners. He forces them to fight his pet beast. Prepare for the worst. Okay, so we're going... This way, over to the other side of the river. Got it. Yeah. Stuck in the trees. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's a broken druid gather bot. That's funny. I'm assuming this must be a really high spot for uh, herbalism. I think it would make sense that the river delta would have like a ton of plants growing on it. And that must be why there's all these people just flying back and forth along here. Okay, so down at the southern end of this, where Camus would be, Okay, this has got to be it right here. What do we got? Oh, what is this? Okay. Wait. Uh. The dude is dead. Afraid your friend won't be waking up anytime soon. I always sedate my crocs food. I hate to see them struggle with their meal. Perhaps I'll make an exception for you. Look out. Let the crocs out. It's feeding time. Okay. I see. Your luck. My pets will make mincemeat of you yet. Okay. Gorbite is dead. Who's next? 
coming. And Thartep. Wait, why is Thartep not targetable? Why does Thartep not have a health bar? Oh, whatever. Thartep's dead. Why do you not have a health bar? We're tired of you. Like we're tired of you all not having health bars. Lure him over the croc eggs without stepping on them yourself. Uh, jump off to fake off the young croc. Okay, I see. By stepping on this, I have gotten covered in baby crocolisks. How am I... Okay, if I, like, go around here... Can I lure you into the eggs? Yes, and now you're covered in crocolisks. Oh, you my life. Thank you. Okay. And the hat is out of here. Beautiful. Let's head on back. You know, all this business with the Nefer set and everything is cool and all, but we were sent down here because we were worried about a pyramid that could end all life on the planet. I feel like we may have slightly lost lost sight of what we were doing. Okay. Buddy. Um, you there. Vizier. I have rescued your son. Will you vote in line with me, please? Please, sir. Camus' Spalders... Ah, oh, he's losing me a bunch of dodge. Screw it. Screw it! Take the strength and the stamina. The dodge will be fine. We can deal with being a little low on dodge for now. As we find better, we'll replace it. Okay. We aren't formally at war yet. The never said to not hesitate to imprison or kill all those who trespass upon their territories. King Faris refuses to reciprocate even when they use our lands to smuggle stolen relics from the tombs of our ancestors. Scouts report the Neversetter are about to move a major shipment of looted weapons south of here. I've instructed the laborers you recruited to assist you. Call upon them with this horn when you find the smugglers and retrieve the weapons. Okay, cool. I'll have a tactician. Very well, if you'll vulture him, we might be able to arrange something. High Council is ready to decide in the war. Speak to King Faurus and Ramken. Okay, uh, we can do that, but real quick, I want to go do this bit where we uh, recover the artifacts. That feels like it's more more current. Okay, so through here, down the river, somewhere right around here, we should find a shipment of smugglers. Yes, beautiful. Uh, let's gather all of this. We've gathered the armaments. I, you know what, screw it. This guy is clearly doing the same quest, and I just, like, profited off his <laughs> starting it ahead of me. We'll help him out. I didn't even use, need to summon the people. We did it all on my own. Okay. How'd the operation go? Quite timely, I'll distribute these armaments to my best men and to the laborers you recruited. I have a feeling they'll show as much courage as my best trained captains. That is a bold statement, sir. I'll sell this chest guard of the bleak scarab. Okay, we're ready for the High Council's decision. I feel like, other than the priest, we've got everything locked in. The priest is going to depend on what his visions show him. Alright, King. What up? How's it going? 
Looks like it's time. Stay and watch if you please. All right, I do. The matter of the war against the rebel tribe of Neverset has each member of the council reached a decision. Sword of Ramkhan casts its vote in favor of war. Your armies are standing at the ready. Vizier, what up? Voice of Ramkhan casts its vote in favor of war as well. The faith of Ramkhan abstains. Ooh. My visions, negotiations with the enemy brought our people to fleeting peace, followed by terrible betrayal and destruction. Well, you're not voting against it, but war waged by a leader reluctantly following protocol brought an even swifter demise to our nation. Hmm. Only one vision offered a faint glimmer of hope, and in that vision, the High Council did not make this decision for you. A liege, a skirmish with an Everset along the border just occurred. A patrol led by your brother was involved. He's got a quest. The Dune. Move all forward regiments westward. We attack Neferset City at first light. Okay, we're, we're leading the attack. He's, he's made his decision. As soon as we make our move west in order to attack Neverset City, the enemy will strike us from the east where we'll be weak. Naham will be the first to fall, and if it does, Ramkahen will soon follow. A small detachment is there already. Get a briefing from them? I want you to make sure they hold Naham until I can send more troops there. Okay, so we're heading... They're leading an attack this way towards Neverset City. We are going to lead uh, defense of the weakened... Naham. Got it. That's fine. I feel like I might go do this here while we're at it. We'll go do with Kartut's tomb. Oh man, look at these statues. They're so cool. This. I feel like this was part of that uh, Battle for Azeroth, like, old god invasion. I think they ended up using that for something there. Like, that's where you spawned in or something. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I played that. I wish that was still, like... I guess it kind of still is available, but... I don't think all of it is. What is this? Hello? Oh, that's weird. Okay, we're not going down there just yet. Pardon me. Okay, so this is where we were ambushed, yeah. I was gonna say, like, when we rode in, it was, like, right through here. Yeah, look at these big statues here. Where are all of you? I mean, the king appears to be wearing, like, this guy's mask. We've got like a bird. We've got like a your your typical Anubis kind of looking thing. And there's just like a lady with some like snakes growing out of her head or something, or a crown, probably a crown. Okay, Kartot's tomb. Oh, it's Harrison Jones. What can I do for you? Have a good one. Good to see you. Would have been better if you'd been here to help me take care of these little savages. What a find. Right here, exactly where my notes predict it would be. With any luck, inside this chamber will lie clues to the location of the legendary Coffer of Promise. Right? It's not just a myth. I believe it truly exists. I'll explain more later. For now, just give me a hand with these explosives. Okay, so it's Raiders of the Lost Ark. Got it. Oh my god. Why are we putting this many explosives here? Easy now. Oh, God. Harrison, get out of there. <laughs> Into the chests.
Okay, where are we? Harrison? Greetings. Be careful. Shake it off happens all the time. Alright. Unfortunate Pygmy is in the wrong place at the wrong time. You ponder his bad luck. Take notice of the symbols covering his shield. Far too elaborate for Pygmy Scrawl. Confident that Dr. Jones will find such objects of interest, you set out to find more fragments like this one. Okay. We've also got this. A strange disc. Etching around the surface of this object indicates of ancient origins, and yet no signs of wear can be detected. Hole on its edge, full of splintered wood, indicates it's meant to be put atop a wooden staff of some sort. Or showing this to Dr. Jones, you should find the other piece. Okay, we are just straight up... Straight up replaying Indiana Jones here. Got it. Let's do it. I haven't seen these movies in ages. Okay, is it just... Do I just kill all these guys looking for the fragments? Okay, more tablet fragments. Uh... Buddy? I don't really want to fight the hyenas if I don't have to. Like, this seems unnecessary. Okay. Guess we just kind of look around for... Oh, wait. Is this just like a random tablet fragment in the ground? Oh! Can you just like find bits of this f sitting around here that I just missed? Eh. Okay, so these guys aren't like chained, so they don't pull together. That's cool. It's too far away. Keeping my eyes open for you, any more of the statues or anything else going on around here. Also, do I have any archaeology areas in here? Oh, I don't. It's a shame. I was like, I want to work on Tolvir archaeology eventually. There's some cool stuff from that one. Oh, wait, is that another fragment there? No. No. Spell isn't ready yet. I found their good. little base and scarf. What is this? Mangy hyena, do the world a favor. Oh, is there gonna be a quest when I kill Scarf here? It's gonna like set something off? Possibly. What am I doing here? Okay, well, I mean, I'll get all my fragments. I don't think I got the shaft of the stars yet. Maybe that's from this guy. Maybe that's what you do. Let's try this. Do the world a favor. Foul specimens. Okay. A particularly nasty disposition or riddle with all manners of disease. Blight the face of dogdom. Do the world a favor and rid the deserts of old doom of this nasty menace. Okay. There's the Sultan's staff. Recombine this. We got ourselves our staff of the sun. I think it was. Shaft of the stars, that's it. Yeah, sun's technically a star, that counts, right? Okay, I need more ornate fragment tab or tablet fragments. How have I not found all these yet? Wait, what do you have? You've got one. I also need to kill a bunch of hyenas now. Oh, 
god. Um, I guess we'll just pop around hyena to hyena. Until we've got this sorted out. Oh, gosh. Many of them to kill. Alright, and keep my... Yeah, my horn going. I think at this point we just kind of focus hyenas. Like, I'll take any of these guys I happen to walk past, but... The goal is going to be on the hyenas now. Oh my god, come on. Come here. Okay, perfect. One more of these tablets and a bunch of hyenas. Ooh, elementium. Very useful. I haven't been finding as much ore out here. I, mean, I guess deep hole is, yeah, makes sense. There would be more ore. Like realm of the earth probably should be pretty ore heavy. But it is a slight bummer not having as much floating around. Ooh, come here. What do we got here? Okay. That's all done. Nothing else here. Need a few more of these guys. Um, oh, wait. It's perfect. You, come here. And you come here. And you come here. Oh god, I've made mistakes. Okay, keep that moving. Everything's fine. Uh... my defenses up. Uh, yes, this is all fine. And we ended it at full health. <laughs> okay. We're still fine. Death Knight's still more or less indestructible. Beautiful. Hey. Buddy, I have killed plenty of things here. I do not need one more. Okay, world's a better place because your deed's here today. Wow, they just really didn't like hyenas. Alright. Well, Harrison, I've got you a staff and some tablets. What do you make of this? See you around. Uh-huh. For the alliance. Have a look at this, shall we? Uh yeah. This gets me some mastery. I lose crit strike, I gain haste, I lose expertise. This is better. Yeah, take this. Be careful. This is better for me. Have a good one. What do you have there? You later. Tablets are covered with Titan writings. Never before seen information here. Missing pieces to an ancient puzzle. Remarkable work you've done, especially for someone who hasn't taken my courses. These tablets provide new information on several subjects. They indicate these obelisks are part of an enormous ancient mechanism that once kept this whole region masked from the rest of the world. They also depict how to recharge the mechanism, which is where your shaft of the stars comes in. We have history to make. Oh, okay, so there was like a barrier over this place. 
that went down. Likely when the weird little pygmy guys stole the shaft? Okay, wait. Accompany him to the Chamber of the Stars. You need something? I'm That's ready. Let's go. Stay close. I like that I leave little hoof prints in the desert, too. Okay, what are we doing? No telling what we might run into down here. Watch your step. Okay, well, I'm not jumping. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll fly on in. Is he... Is he all the way down there? Oh my god, he is. Holy crap. So we're just flying down in here, huh? This is cool looking. Oh. What does that thing do? Okay, so like a couple of these things raise up. It stops them. And they row. Oh, man, that's weird. Okay. Ancient supercomputers. Got it. Hey there. For the Alliance. To get a load of this place, what a find, and somehow it's all remained untouched by plunderers. I need to document this site before we disturb anything. Well, I do. Why don't you have a look around, explore a bit, you've earned it, keep your eyes open for anything unusual, and please don't break anything. Have a good one. Okay, explore the Chamber of the Stars. Okay, we're going to go check out this. Plenty of corpses down here for a place that hasn't been plundered. Northern Hieroglyphs Examined. What are you? Tormented Tomb Robber. Okay, I don't think we're the first ones down here. Oh, what was that? Piece of rope. Every adventurer worth their salt knows never to set foot in a cave, dungeon, crypt, or tomb without an ample supply of rope. You can never have too much. Resolve to scrounging every scrap of it you can from the skeletons here. Got it. Oh, there's something in the middle, too. Oh, hello. Uh... How am I missing this many times? Oh my god. Explore this. Ancient mechanism examined. Yeah, that thing's cool. I like it. Wait, if I just like walk up to the skeletons, is that what spawns these? It is. Good. Okay, so I know how to reliably spawn these. Beautiful. Then we just gotta go check out these other hieroglyphics over here, and then head back. Okay. Yeah, I feel like my accuracy on these things is just abysmal. They're like lower level than me, too. How are they dodging this often? What the hell? What's going on with my hit chance? <laughs> hit chance. Miss chance is... Ugh, unfortunately high. We're gonna need to fix that. Granted, it's only like 1%. So how are they missing and parrying this often? That feels... Unusual. Exploration of the Chamber of the Stars has yielded more questions than answers. That's certainly true. Okay, Harrison, what did you find? Can I help you? See you around. On some rope. The alliance. Thanks, kid. Something tells me I'm gonna need this. Uh, strength, stamina, mastery, and parry. Uh, this also lowers my hit rating, but you know what? Be careful. Better tanking. Hieroglyphs in your tablet indicate there's a way to get this mechanism working. We just need to figure out how. Uh. 
How do I start the next quest here? Tipping the balance. What do I have to do to start the next quest here? There's something I can like inner. Oh, wait, what's this? Aha, there's another quest down here. Schnott's Scout. Okay, unfortunate explorer, clearly suffered a bit of bad luck in the recent past. Perhaps Prudence Dix takes to perform an unenviable task of searching the corpse for clues that might shed light on your surroundings. Take the journal. Hello? Found an incredible sight. Whole area pulsates the hum of ancient architecture. If it were not so late in the day, I would investigate the chamber immediately. Sleeping tonight will be a struggle. The most productive day today. The chamber is indeed of ancient origin and houses a magnificent mechanism which seems to be in disrepair. I'll investigate further tomorrow. This discovery will surely force Schnatz to take notice of me. How can you deny me a promotion for something like this? It's taken me all day to wrestle the cipher from these hieroglyphs. Through eyes of blue is starlight revealed. Ten shards, one rod, and the veil disappears. Forget Schnatz and his empty promises. If I can just unravel this riddle, its secrets shall be mine. Okay. Done it. Using a sapphire from the chamber's adornments, I've fashioned a pair of goggles. With them, I'm able to see things previously hidden from view. Luck, my next entry will fetch me... I mean, a ri newly rich man. Oh, okay, so let's take the spectacles then. I can't wear them just yet, but I have a feeling, yeah, if I put these on, it's going to allow me to see what's going on down here. Okay, Harrison. Greetings. See you later. For the alliance. I'm going to use gemstones as lenses. Should be able to fix them without too much trouble. See you around. Holds up the dead scout's goggles. I tighten the clamp in the middle and crimp the wires on the edges. They may not be the most comfortable, but they should hold together. If I've translated your tablets correctly, there's something hidden here. The final piece of our puzzle. Let me know what you find. You Collect seven suspended starlight. Oh. These. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, I've, I've upset the locals. Indentured Protector? What are you? You look human. What's the deal with you guys? Yeah, no. Okay, once a thief, I'm now a servant of the stars. Uh, this is weird. Why can't I use any of my abilities? Let me guess, you're gonna come over and say hi now. Okay. Nobody wants to come say hi? Oh, there it is. I was like, why are they not attacking? That's out of character for them. Alright, I know you're going to attack me. Come on. What is this? Oh. I need more of this starlight. Two more, specifically. Oh, god damn it. Have an in anger to skeleton. Eh, maybe not. Maybe the skeleton's fine. I've definitely angered some tomb robbers, though, haven't I? Yep, there they are. Almost feels like I should be able to like get away from them, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Why can't I pestilence this guy? 
There we go. But it didn't actually work. Very strange. What's this? Vengeance? Nah, that's nothing that would cause me to miss more often. Just feels like I'm missing a lot. Uh, one more of these suspended starlights, please. Yeah. Okay. Harrison. I got you your stuff. What can I do for you? Find anything interesting. Looks like you've done it again. Starlight is exactly what we're missing. Now we can get to work. Time to see what this staff of yours has to show us. Uh, I'm going to put this helmet back on, I think. Wait, are you just shucking it into the middle here? Oh, that's cool. Hey, weren't we worried about one of these pyramids being a weapon that could wipe out all the light, all life on the planet? <laughs> I feel like we're just kind of like poking around in the super weapon a little uh, haphazardly here. Okay, Harrison, now what? Have a good one. That's it? The pieces we need are hidden in these statues. They look a bit off balance as is. Maybe it's a nudge. I must say your field work is coming along nicely. If you applied yourself, you could make a fine archaeologist one day. What can I do to help? Stand back, we wouldn't want you getting hurt. What are you what are you gonna do? Are you destroying the statues? Okay. Now what? Oh yeah, you're just toppling the statues. Okay, this is this is a terrible idea. It's just like swinging from one to the next in a circle around the room. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Uh... Seem to have released some beetles. Harrison? Amethyst scarabs. Hey For the Alliance. Have a good one. Nothing really. The statues were teetering as it was. Just needed a little push. How about you go sort through the rubble? I've got a feeling we're getting close. Collect the orb? Okay. Collect all of the orbs. Which are, I'm going to assume, in the head of these statues, right? That would make sense, I think. Where, where's my orbs? Oh, right, it's, oh, it's it's literally the whole head. I just right-click the head of the statue. Hold up. Okay, let's go. Beautiful. Uh, more statue heads. This one. Okay, and one last statue head. Oh, did this one break up? Maybe it broke apart? 
Evidently, the ancient statues are home to various species of scarab. Determined to leave the site in the best condition possible, you resolve to ridding the chamber of these pests. You want me to kill, oh god, all of them. Just a, a billion of these scarabs. Oh no. Okay, hold up. Let's... Why doesn't that work? Why isn't this spreading the disease to nearby enemies? Huh. I hit that. Is it because they're not actively hostile? Oh, weird. Yeah, because that's not even aggroing onto them. This is so... Why is this place so weird? Normally, you can just... Yeah. Like, that would absolutely be aggroing onto them. Weird. I don't like them. Okay, I've got the Orb of the North Star. I don't know why it said that they were... That could be on those scarabs. But, let's go ahead and deal with all these scarabs. Okay, come here. God, that doesn't even hit them. That's insane. I've never seen abilities behave like this. Like, typically on a death fight, any of your AoE abilities will hit, like, yellow targets like this. Okay, we're fine. We'll just clear out a few of these real quick. That's still recharging. Uh let's just grab as many of these as I can real quick. Does that work now? Now that I've AoE'd them all? No, I'm not. I'm only dealing damage to the one I'm currently targeting. That's so weird. What is going on in this place? These are the strangest behaving enemies that I've seen in Warcraft in quite a long time. What do we got here? Okay. Garab like Talisman. Interesting. Don't need it, but that's fine. Greetings. See you later. Okay, find anything interesting? No. no. Looks as though our work here is nearly complete. Looks like all it's left to do is place the orbs on the pedestals at each corner. We appear to have stumbled upon what may be the most important find in modern history. Go ahead. Never made this discovery without you. I feel like this is just an absolutely abysmally bad idea, but... Why are we activating this without knowing what it does? I mean, it sounds like it was the one that was responsible for the barrier around Old Doom. But, like... God, this is a terrible idea. Okay. Obelisk. Laser beams. Obelisk of the stars reactivated. Oh yeah, look at that. It's a cooking. What can I do for you? For the Alliance.
Okay, amazing as this is, I'm confident there's more to our discovery than meets the eye much more. I mean, the reason we were here is because there's a super weapon that could blow up the planet, but, you know, you just wanted to start poking stuff, I guess, so that's fine. <laughs> um, what is this ring? Stamina, Int, Spirit. Oh, man, these are all terrible, but this is technically, I guess, maybe better, sort of, kind of. Not really, but... I'm going to need to research what we've learned here. No telling how we might use the power these mechanisms create. Give me and Rom Kahan, I'll tell you what our next step should be. Okay. We finished our little Indiana Jones quest chain. See her around. He's back off to Rom Kahan. Which should be, yeah, right up here. Like we weren't that far from Rom Kahan. Does he already have the next step of the quest? Okay, uh, Harrison, are you, like, here with another quest for me? No, but Adara is. You need something? Have a good one. You're looking for Harrison, you just missed him. He was going on and on about his latest discovery and how everything was beginning to make sense. It certainly wasn't making sense to me. He tried to convince him to stay here and just enjoy a few desert sunsets with me, but there's no talking to him when he gets that gleam in his eye. Perhaps he'd be willing to check in, and then he was heading to that big monolith south of here. Safe travels. Big monolith south of here. Oh, Obelisk of the Sun? Okay, so he's heading off to there. I've also got Naham. We've got to go deal with that. So that's our next two steps. We've got to carry on with what the Tolvir need, and then we've got to carry on with what Harrison's working on. I mean, neither of these seems to do directly with the pyramid that's going to blow up the planet, but, you know, that's fine. Also, they have a... <laughs> what a strange little, little setup here. All right. Um, we're going to call it apart here for now, and I will be back, probably not tonight, <laughs> um, with more of this. Uh, Elden Ring DLC comes out today, and I'm looking forward to playing that. I'm going to be playing that in my free time off stream. I'm not going to be streaming that, but, uh, I will be probably playing that tonight is going to be my guess. So for the next day or two, I might be off, uh, just checking out the Elden Ring DLC in my free time. And then I will be back in another couple of days with uh, more of this. Also, does this happen to be an actual chess piece? Oh, it does. Ugh. Oh, it's leather, though. That's why. I need a, a plate mail chess piece that isn't chain mail. I, 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 it drives me nuts having this stupid fishnet on. All right. That's enough for now. We'll be back in a couple of days with more of this. Thanks for joining, everybody. Always appreciated having people around. Uh, I'll throw up the social media links here. Twitter is where I will, or X, or whatever the hell you want to call it these days, is where I will post any updates on what I'm planning to stream or when I'm streaming it. I'll also probably be talking a little bit about, uh, you know, my thoughts on the Elden Ring DLC as I'm playing here. And then also, uh, I have a poll up there right now for what we're going to be doing as part of the next stream. Uh, there's just, it's just the numbers, but I already have the uh, what those numbers represent in my head. So go ahead and vote in a random, throw, throw a random vote on there to help decide what we're streaming next. I already know what series it's going to be. I'm just trying to pick which title it's going to be within the series. Uh, and then YouTube is where the old archived VODs all live in playlist format. So if you want to go check out any of that, uh, it's all available on there uh, up to current. I think I have everything, including the last stream of this, is up there right now. And I'll try to upload this when I finish now. But yeah, for now, I'm going to call it apart. We will throw up the end in title screen here. Is anybody online yet or doing anything? No, nobody is, so I will let people find their own way for now, and I will see you next time. Like I said, tonight I'm probably just going to be diving into Elden Ring and throwing a bunch of time into that, but bye for now, and I will catch you next time.